Welcome everybody. My name is Tim Sandy. I'm a Coecity Systems Engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how our Insight application works running on our Coecity cluster. So to kind of set the stage, what I have is I've created what we call a view, which is essentially a share. And I've set up specifically a SMB share. And in this SMB share, I have several different files. I have text files, PowerPoint, an Excel, a PDF, zip file, Word document. So I have several different document types that we can look at. And in those files, I have set up some usernames and some dummy social security numbers that we can search for. I am running our latest version of our software. So this user interface is version 6.5.0a. And as you can see, it has the new dark mode in it. So just to set the stage again, what we're going to do is I already have this view created with all these documents in there. We're going to, I'm going to talk briefly about downloading and installing the Insight app, as well as how to configure it and then show you how to use it. So first off in the interface, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left-hand navigation pane here and click on Marketplace. And I actually already have the Insight app already downloaded, but if you click on all apps, you're going to see that it will take you out to our marketplace.cohesity.com where we have all of our different apps. So again, this particular video is discussing the Insight app. So here is our Insight app here. And if I click on that, as you can see here, uh, allows us as we back up unstructured data, we're able to use the Cohesity app to help us easily perform an interactive text search on data stored on the Cohesity data platform. The file types covered include Office text, PDFs, zip folders uh, of these file types. The app can be pointed to a Cohesity file share, or as we call it, a view, as well as backed up objects. So here's where it is. You would go ahead and click Get App. You would download it essentially as a container to your Cohesity platform. and then we would install the app into our Cohesity platform. So going back to the in interface here, uh, just to show you real quick, we're gonna go to My Apps. Again, I already have the Insight app already installed. So since I already have downloaded and installed it, I would simply click Run App. I would select the QoS policy, whether I want this to run in the background more from a, a low QoS perspective. So I'm just going to say, let's do it in low. I'm going to select which views that I want to. Again, views are basically a file share. We're acting as an as. So I can say none, all existing and future views, or I can do a specific one. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to select this audited view, particular one, because this is where all those files that I discussed are at. And I'm going to click Save. You can add a description in here, and then we're going to go ahead and click Run App. So it's going to initialize the application and start running it. So I'm going to pause while this is initializing. So one quick note, as you can see there, it was saying running, but yet the app showed a little bit of a warning here. It was still actually coming up, but now it has completed. So the app is CoECD Insight. It is fully running. And then now we can click on Open App. It'll open up another tab for us to go into. So here, as you can see, we can add the data sources. So let's add the views. And we're again going to add, since I had already configured to run the Insight app only against the audited view, that's the one that is available. If I would have selected all views and future views, then I would be able to select which ones I wanted here. So I'm going to click Confirm. And then here I can uh, click on file types. So I can click on this top box here to select all, or if I only want to select a particular file type that I want to search for, you can do that. Obviously, it'll be quicker if you only select the particular file types that you're looking for. But if you need to do all of them, which we're going to do, you can go ahead and select that top check mark. And I'm going to click Confirm. So these are all the different file types that we can search for. Now, I have a good chunk of these, again, in that share and that view that I've created that we'll see here. So go ahead and we're going to click Confirm. 
And what it's going to do is it's going to go through and index. As you can see here, it's in the process of indexing all these files. It's cracking open all of the files, looking in them and indexing everything in there. So what we're going to be able to do once this is done indexing is we're going to be able to search. Again, I have some usernames. I have some fake social security numbers and information like that that we can search for. So I'm going to let the indexing finish. Now, this is a demo environment, so this is not a real world production environment. This would obviously happen quicker in a rural production environment because it would have better resources. This is just a demo environment with limited resources. So the indexing takes a few minutes. So I'm going to pause. So once it's done indexing, you can go back and make changes to the settings if you choose. You can click on the gear icon. You can select the different views that you want or the different file types. So what we're going to do now is this is going to be like a Google search. And again, I in these various different files, and I'll just show you real quick here, in this audited view share that we have, uh, as you can see, I said I have different file types in here. I've got usernames in here, some fake usernames and some fake social security numbers that we can search for. So I just wanted to show you that real quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in user one, hit enter. And as you see here, it's bringing up all the files that it has indexed and looked through to see looking for the text user one. So as you see the users.zip, the users the user.txt, test.xlsx, and the word.docs. So all those files have that user one in there. So I could say user two. So as you can see, similar, some of the same files have user two in it, but one less. So also, as you can see, I have some test email addresses. So if I look for at yahoo.com as an email address, those are the files. I can also do a search for at gmail.com and there's those files. So I did some samples of fake social security numbers. So I'm going to put in some fake social security numbers to search for those. So there is one of them. And as you can see, the ssns.txt file has that in there. So let's try another one. As you see, the ssns that text as well as ssns1.txt file have that one in there. Let's try another one. As you see, that one is in there. So as you can see, uh, whether we're looking for uh, social security numbers, usernames, email addresses, maybe passwords. So if I'm looking for, you know, a standard password like just lowercase password. There we go. In the password.txt file, I have password. Well, what about this one? That one's actually in the password one, password two.txt files, as well as the word.docs. So as you can see, when we are when we've created a cohesity view, which again is basically a share that can be SMB, NFS, or S3, and we have files in there. With Cohesity Insight, we index everything in there. We select which particular views we want to do that to. And then we can go through and search for information such as username, passwords, email addresses, or anything like that. So that's what Insight allows us to do. It actually gives us the ability when we're hosting a share to be able to crack inside of those files and actually search for certain text patterns within those files. So very useful tool. Again, this any of the Cohesity apps uh, run as containers on our platform and they're all free to use. So this is a free to use and extra ability that Cohesity gives you to where you're not having to go and pay for a third party application to give you this capability. So not only do we do data protection, but we also have the NAS use case, test dev, and then our marketplace apps, which is, this is one of them, which is our Cohesity Insight app. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an overview of 
how we go in and set this up and what we can do with the Cohesity Insight app. As you can see here, we can also filter. Um, we can filter by the views and the paths. We can also filter the view by the doc types, just like we did when we initially set up for indexing. So I hope this was useful, give you an idea of the power of the Cohesity apps and specifically what the Insight app can do on your unstructured data that is housed on the Cohesity platform. Thank you and have a great day.